Good evening everyone. Good evening sa mga nasa live natin today no. So before tayo mag-start, let me just do some greetings. And magandang gabi sa iyo. Sana ikaw ay nasa okay na pakiramdam. Uh, this is Coach Miranda Minor and uh, welcome to our Crypto News Fundamentals uh, Technical Charting and Trader Quotient in uh, 45 minutes. We're actually streaming live in uh, Facebook and in YouTube. It's uh, 9:58 Manila. Uh, it's 9.58 in the morning New York time, 4.58 Dubai, and um, 3.58 London time. So, magandang gabi mga kamiranda minor. Good evening. Uh, greet ko lang yung mga nasa Facebook. Si Yael, thank you. Uh, John Lester Matawaran, thank you. Si Clark. Um, sino ba to? Si Rene. Yan, Manolito Pagayan, hello sa mga nasa Facebook. Sa mga nasa YouTube, si Nolet, hello. Avin Rabago. Uh, Soljen, Sauce is Hot, Aris, Alega, Kriptong Talong, Hoy, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Goma, alright, Angelo, Robles, magandang gabi sa'yo. Sa mga lahat na nasa YouTube na yan, no? So, standby ka lang, we have a very, very special topic for today. We're gonna be talking about the law of time frames. Why is it important na kailangan mong malaman ng mga time frames? Uh, what's the impact to profitability? So watch, uh, sit back and relax, okay? Thank you din kay um, Avin Rabago. Sabi niya kakatapos lang daw niya ng course. Nag-start nag-scalping. Kumita raw ng 200. Congratulations. Congratulations sa'yo, Aero, uh, Aaron. Or Avin, Avin. Congratulations sa'yo, no? Of course, uh, uh, Dowell Serrano, shout out. Mark Jason Quinones. Good evening, watching from Japan. Hello, hello. Pati yun nasa... Nasa UK natin, no? Uh, may nag-post from the UK. Start ka ulit para I could read your message, no? Uh, Mark Ian, hello. Joseph James Virano, kamusta? Clarice. Lorena, Alisuwag. And uh, in a moment, we're going to be live in TikTok as well. Okay? Mark Anthony, Lorena. Okay, I think it's already good to go. Why don't we just go live already? Alright, we are officially live mga Kamiranda Minor. Magandang magandang gabi sa inyo lahat. It's already 10pm Manila time. Time check, it's actually 10pm exact Manila time. It's August 12th Thursday. No? So magandang magandang gabi sa inyo. I'm actually broadcasting live in uh, YouTube, uh, in Facebook, and I'm going to go live in a bit in TikTok. Let me just... Okay, we are now live in TikTok as well. Magandang magandang gabi sa inyo. And... Uh, I hope you are doing well today. Our topic for today, this technical charting Thursday, is a very important topic, no? So, gaano ba ka importante, gaano ba ka effective that you need to know the law of the time frames? Now, why is it important? What are the things that you need to know from a from a charting perspective? Teka lang, meron daw tayong echo. Hang on a second. All right, hang on. Okay. Ayun. So, yeah. So, why is it important that you need to know how to use your time frames effectively, no? Uh, eka lang. So, okay na ba tayo? nag echo pa din ba? Are we still good now? Type number one, if we're coming in very clear. Um, I think I already um, made some adjustments. No, before we officially start, good evening sa lahat ulit, ulit, no? Um... Yan, so nag-adjust na tayo. Okay na daw. Alright, very good. So, okay. Alright, so we're also broadcasting live in TikTok. Magandang gabi sa'yo if you're tuning in. So, tune in ka lang, no? We have so many updates for you. Let me actually officially start the updates as of right now, no? So, alright. Guys, are you willing? Are you wanting? No? Gusto mo bang manalo ng 500 pesos? No? Gusto mo bang manalo ng 500 pesos every day? So, if you want to win 500 pesos every day, Meron tayong ipamimigay na 500 peso one winner daily from August 13 to September 15. Kung ikaw ay wala pang uh, pang trade, no? So you need to uh, just do one very simple thing, no? One very simple thing that you need to do is to comment 
hashtag thank you Miranda Minor and hashtag I believe in Bingbon. And we will be doing a automatic comment picker. No? So kung mapipili ka, magko-comment ka lang guys. No? Lalagay mo lang hashtag you know, thank you Miranda Minor and uh, hashtag I believe in Bingbon. Tapos, pag napili ka namin, instant within the, within the day, makukuha mo yung 500 pesos. Grabe. So, natuto ka na sa channel ni Coach, nanalo ka pa ng 500 pesos. No? So, please uh, subscribe to our channel so you're always updated for everything na ipamimigay po natin sa ating channel. So, again, also thank you to Bingbon, which is our partner in this particular promotion. So, magandang magandang gabi sa inyo. Maraming maraming salamat for you, guys, uh, sa mga nasa Bingbon family. And thank you din sa ating marketing team led by Ira, Nida, and Choi. Thank you guys for your help. No? Uh, I-comment nyo po yan sa mga videos natin na na-publish na po natin. Hashtag thank you Miranda Minor and hashtag I believe in Bingbon for you to have a chance to win 500 pesos. Ngayon, kung gusto mo pa ng maraming prices, meron pa tayong price, no? Ito naman, uh, ito naman we are actually down to our last few days of uh, getting more raffle entries, no? So, guys, we are going to give away Matatapos na po ng August 15 yung raffle natin. Okay? By August 15, we are going to do a demo. Uh, sorry, a raffle. We're going to do a raffle on August 15. Okay? Uh, sorry, cut off ng August 15. And we're going to do a final raffle on August 28. No? We're going to do a final raffle on August 28. And uh, we're going to give away a one brand new Samsung tablet A7 Lite as a grand prize. We're going to give away second prize of one Realme C25. Okay, one Realme C25 cell phone and then one winner of 3,000 pesos in cash and Miranda Miner shirt and mug. Okay, okay, one Miranda Miner shirt and mug and 3,000 pesos for you to be able to win that. Ang gagawin mo lang, you just need to subscribe, okay? Subscribe. Uh, in TikTok, pinapadala na po namin yung link saan kayo magsa-sign up. No? Yung King Sumo link, we're going to send it. Uh, sign up kayo dyan. Make sure you register, no? Tapos, you need to subscribe to our channel. So, you get, I think, three raffle entries agad, no? And then, we will, we're going to do a raffle within the 28th, no? On the 28th of, of August para, para, you can have a chance to win. Mas maganda po mag-trade sa mas malaking uh, iPad, no? It's good to trade on a bigger uh, equipment. So, wag ka na mag-trade sa iyong cellphone. Mag-trade ka na sa iPad. Brand new pa. No, mag-trade ka sa isang tablet. Brand new. Ayun, sinasabi ko nga kanina, binibless ko tong, binibless ko tong iPad na to para kung sino man manalo. Very profitable sa trade, eh, no? <laughs> All right. So, kung, kung ayo manalo ka, no? Maramit. And then, if you, kung di ka papalarin, meron din tayong 500 pesos consolation price. Limang tao ang mananalo ng 500 pesos consolation price. Okay? Okay, sa mga kaka-join, kaka-tune in lang, no, huwag mong kakalimutan ang ating raffle promotion. You know? Huwag mong kakalimutan ang ating raffle promotions. And of course, ang ating Thursday Trader Reflection for the day. I just like to remind everyone, um, ang, ang Thursday Trader Reflection before we start today is, our overall trading discipline, our knee-jerk reactions, ibig sabihin yung mga immediate involuntary reactions natin, our habits, our way of thinking, all of them, and yes, all of them, reflect in your trading PNL. No? So if you are not disciplined, if you are really disciplined, you know, if you are if you are good in reacting into stress, no, if you are able to manage, you know, your habits correctly at maayos ka mag-isip sa mga bagay-bagay, mas, magagam mas magagamay mo ang, ang, ang ways to be profitable. Kahit gano'ng kakagaling mag-technical analysis, no, if, you're not, if you cannot manage your emotions, trust me when I say this, you only hear it from Coach Miranda Minor, trust me when I say this, you will also be wiped out. Kahit gano'ng kakagaling mag-trade, if you don't have the emotional quotient and the trader's quotient, then it will all boil down into your PNL. Have you ever wondered bakit negative ang PNL mo? 
Have you ever wondered bakit positive ang PNL mo? It speaks of your character and it speaks of your trading discipline. So pag-isipan mo yan, you know? pag-isipan mo yan, and that's gonna be our Thursday Trader Reflection for today. Okay? And then we have one more uh, announcement sa mga kakatune in lang, no? 500 pesos daily from August 13 to September 15, no? 500 pesos daily, it's a chance to win for you, okay? Uh, I also would like to announce, no, guys, on Saturday, this is already confirmed, on Saturday, we're gonna be talking, we, have, we will have an exclusive interview in our, all of our social media handles in YouTube, and it's gonna be stream, streamed here in YouTube, I stream po siya sa TikTok, it will be streamed as well in, um, it will be streamed as well in Facebook, makinig po kayo, we're going to interview a big guy from Overbit, ang pangalan niya, Chilio. No, magpe-prepare na si coach ng English niya no. Sana sana hindi to hindi to singlish no. <laughs> Siguro dadaling ko si Sweet. Nakikinig ka ba sa akin Sweet ngayon? Kung makikinig ka, gagawin kitang moderator sa interview ha. <laughs> si Sweet, one of our moderators nasa Singapore yan today based in Singapore. By the way, sa mga moderators ko, greetings lahat sa inyo no. Nako, napakarami po nila, kalat-kalat po sila. Meron tayong Moderator in Austria, Vienna. We have moderator in Italy. We have a moderator in the US. No, dalawang states dyan. One in California and one in Maryland. Judex and Beth, mag magandang umaga sa inyo. Meron tayong moderator in uh, Singapore, si Sweet. Meron tayong moderators in UAE, si Jen, tsaka si Nico. No? So, of course, uh, karamihan na moderators all in the Philippines. And um, sa Philippines naman, iba-iba lugar namin. Mer 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 meron mga taga Jen San, eh, no? Iba-iba tayo yan. Ayan, sabi ni Swatat, si Sweet, yes, haha, need mong practice English, coach. Uh, I'm good, I'm good in, I'm good in talking in English, la. <laughs> how, are, how are you today, la? <laughs> diba? I, I was in Singapore and I was in Malaysia for a couple of times, no? And every time I go there, nakukuha ko yung la nila. How are you, la? <laughs> Ganun po kasi sa Malaysia, um, saka sa Singapore, yung mga... Yung mga singlish, no? Uh, meron silang suffix na tinatawag yung mga la. How are you, la? Uh, um, what else? Uh, I'm good today, la. ba Sweet. Agreean mo yan. Ganyan talaga sa Singapore or Malaysia, no? So, hindi ko alam kung sa UAE. May, alam ko may ganyan din sa bandang UAE, no? Ayan, sabi ni Sweet, pasado daw. <laughs> Sasabihin ko sa, sa interview. Uh, hello, how are you? Uh, how are you? How are you, Chi Liu? How are you, La? How are you today, uh, Chi? <laughs> Very good na daw ako. So, okay, La, sabi ni Ruan. <laughs> Niya pala si Ruan. Hey, Ruan. Okay, so, um, ayan, hit stop loss, La. <laughs> sabi ni Brian. Okay, teka lang, higup muna ako ng kape, guys. Ang sarap kasi ng gabi na to, no? Andiyan kayo lahat, eh, no? So, uh, natawa tuloy ako. Pero interview natin si Chi. Maganda yung topic namin, no? Maganda yung topic namin. Tapos, guys, meron tayong napaka-special ng August natin, you know? I was able to book, um, I was able to book another exclusive interview on August 28, no? Uh, on August 28, we, we are very, very fortunate to be able to invite uh, a district manager of ProLife UK Philippines. Interviewin natin siya. Uh, in terms of her perspective on how to protect yourself on investments, no? So it's important we talk about investments and protection bilang cryptocurrency trader, no? So pag-uusapan natin yan, I will be creating and sending out the materials later on today para makita ninyo uh, sino yung i-interviewin natin. But it's a very special August for all of us. It's a very special August. And then, Another another one one more announcement guys is on uh, <clears throat> on um, on the next couple of weeks bukod sa Bingbon meron meron na po tayong isa pang partner no na nagconfirm na so good job to Ira no ating Mark Corporate Marketing nagconfirm na tong partner na to they're willing to collaborate with us no uh, starts with letter B okay starts with letter B Ang pangalan po nila is Bidget, no? B I D G E T. Bidget. So they have already confirmed I'm already in the process of reviewing the terms of the partnership. So, nako. Um 
pagkatapos po ng uh, pagkatapos po ng napakarami nating magagandang interview no at uh, siksik siksik na mga content meron naman tayong uh, partnership and interview with the uh, two big individuals the CEO of uh, Overbit and a district manager no napakataas na posisyon in Pro Life UK no so interview natin sila of course meron siyang mga kasama na mga financial experts uh, to be with her during the interview tapos samahan pa natin ng uh, partnership promotions no saan ka pa guys napakarami na natin we have promotions we have exclusive contents exclusive interviews no we have uh, playlists that are for free no meron pa rin tayong uh, university meron pa rin tayong upcoming mentoring so nako napakarami napakarami at uh, i'm just really really proud of all of you guys because alam nyo, wala pa po tayong apat na buwan no wala pa po tayong apat na buwan but we have already achieved many things but one of the commitments na ipapangako ko sa inyo is we will continue to have our culture of malasakit no we will have our culture of malasakit we already are reaching almost 25,000 subscribers in YouTube Meron na tayong 3,000 plus followers in TikTok, almost 2,000 in Twitter, almost 7,000 in Discord, and now we are actually building our community in Telegram. It's just very, very blessed. Uh, Nakaka-bless, guys. So maraming maraming salamat sa inyo for all of your support and sa lahat ng mga tumutulong para tayo ay continuously lumaki at lumago. Alright? So pa-shoutout daw sa mga nasa, uh, sa mga nasa TikTok. Uh, shout out lang so US Mix the Great. Hello, shout out sa yo. Uh, of course Nida is in TikTok as well. Thank you, thank you. Uh, salamat po sa nag-send ng rose. Uh, Brickcon 3. Salamat sa mga nasa TikTok. Magandang magandang gabi sa inyo diyan. All right. And of course Nida if you could also help send siguro yung link natin King Sumo sa TikTok para maka-sign in din sila. Okay? All right, tara na. Uh, punta na tayo sa ating uh, topic for today no and ito yung sinasabi ko mga playlist natin all of these are for free no all of these playlists are for you meron tayong beginners intermediate may advanced and pro may crypto university may new coins updates may merong uh, playlist for scalpers may playlist tayo for day traders meron tayong playlist or uh, channel for axi live meron tayong real talk fridays meron tayong binance tutorial meron tayong uh, crypto Night Live. No? Meron tayong Crypto Night Live. Kompleto po tayo lahat, no guys? So if you could just, um, if you could just, you know, tune in, subscribe to our channel, pwede mo makuha lahat ng yan for free. You could get everything for free in the playlist section of our YouTube channel. Kompleto po yan, no? If you are not aware anything about crypto, kakasimula mo pa lang, go to the Crypto University playlist. Ayan. Tapos after that, go to Beginners. Go to intermediate and go to advanced, no. And then if you have already your 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 trading style, go to scalper and then day trader. Okay. So speaking of that, pag-usapan natin today ang ating topic, which is about gano ba ka importante ang mga time frames. Why is it important for a time frame, no? Why is it important for a time frame to be considered? Bakit importante ang time frame? Ano yung mga tinatawag na law of time frames? Okay. Type number one. If you're ready to listen now, type number one. Kung nasa Facebook, nasa YouTube, nasa TikTok, type number one, we're gonna be diving right in. What is the importance of a time frame no? for you to be more profitable? Okay, for you to be more profitable, let us dive right in right now. Okay, so let me just try to present my screen. Okay. Alright, so technical charting Thursday. Uh, para maging uh, mas profitable ka, let me just try to go down. Nagkape na, nagkape na ba kayo, guys? Kape muna kayo. Higup lang ako ng kape kasi ugali ko na to pag gabi, nagkakape ako. Kasi pag, alam nyo ba, guys, uh, pag gabi, itong masisipag ko mga moderator, nag-uusap-usap lang kami yan. <laughs> Kakamustahan lang kami. no? Uh, lalo na sa marketing team, no? nag-uusap ko ng mga plano. So, Kasi you si see Ira, taga UK yan eh. So, six, six hours advance ako dyan eh. No? So, gising pa yan ang mga ganitong oras, no? Hanggang alas stress ng madaling araw. Anyways, so, it's important that um, 
you understand kung ano ba ang time frames no bilang trader kailangan mong malaman ang underlying ang underlying trend no um sabi nga ng isang common cliche trade with the trend no don't fight the tape the trend is your friend sulat mo yan no the trend is your friend no the trend is your friend ang tanong nga lang ngayon is hang gaano ba ka tumatagal yung isang trend no and when do you want, when do you need to get out of the trade no how exactly does it mean to be a short term trader no kasi marami sa inyo marami sa inyo tulad nung when i was still starting guys when i was starting in uh, in uh, one of the moderator group kasi nung nag start si coach Miranda Minor i was a moderator sa Binance Philippines no sa Binance um Facebook group no tapos yung mga questions na nakikita ko doon kalagi doon okay ba yung scalping nung tinatanong ko na what does he understand what scalping means ang pagkakaalam po ng mga tao sa scalping ito ay pamamaraan kung saan kikita ka ng pera but they don't understand gaano katagal yung time frame ng scalper no so para na misinterpret nila that a scalping is simply a way to earn in trading when in fact it goes even big deeper than that no it goes even deeper than that okay so the trend is your friend but how long no how long should a trend uh, i mean how would you know that the trend can last all right so let's now try to dig deeper into trading time frames okay let's now dig deeper into trading time frames okay so in order to consistently make money okay Uh, by, by the way, i-bookmark mo din itong video na to para if you're getting confused on how to chart using time frames, magamit mo siya. Okay? So, for you to be consistent in making money in the markets, you need to learn how to identify an underlying trend. Okay? You need to learn how to identify that. Okay? Rule number one, tatandaan mo to, pakisulat mo to guys. A general rule in trading is that the more the longer the time frame or the bigger the time frame the more reliable the signals are given no as you drill down in the time frames the charts become polluted with false moves and noise so what do i mean by that it is, it, this is what we mean no if you open a chart i have a three chart here let me just try to expand this a little bit okay i have a chart here no this chart gives you a three time frame chart okay itong time itong tatlong chart na to meron siyang tinatawag na four hours time frame this is the four hours this is a one hour time frame and this is a 30 minutes time frame let's try to make this 15 minutes what you will see here what you will see here guys is that okay what you will see here is that may mga pagkakataon that a particular formation or trend sa smaller time frame parang ganito in a smaller time frame it could mean a massive move no it can mean a massive move all right because you're in a smaller time frame but on a bigger time frame okay ito ay just simple move no na ma-magnify ng smaller time frame yung mga micro swings but the micro swing is just a simple swing in a bigger time frame no so general rule if you see if you see na merong confirmation okay If you see that merong confirmation si MACD, for example, si MACD ay nagkaroon ng bullish cross. No? Nagkaroon ng bullish cross sa 4 hours, okay? And you see another bullish cross in a 15 minutes, okay? So, so on the 4 hours, if you see a bullish cross here, in the 15 minutes, you can see actually multiple bullish crosses. Or, there could also be a bearish cross no because you need to remember you need to remember sa 15 minutes time frame okay sa 15 minutes meron tayong almost tinatawag na four candles in a one hour candle 
Okay? Merong apat na 15 minutes candle sa isang 1 hour candle. Merong labing anim na 15 minutes candle in a 4 hours candle. So itong candle na to, yung nakikita niyo ito isang mahabang candle na to, this is equivalent to 16 15 minutes candle. Okay? So by using a higher time frame, it gives you more reliable signals. Kaya nga lagi kong tinuturo sa university sa naked charting, zoom out, okay? And then chart your major resistance and support. No, I don't want you to zoom out on a lower time frame. Okay? So that is your that is one general rule. If you see a buying signal, mas reliable siya and much longer yung effect. Longer yung effect. If you see a bullish cross on a 5 minutes candle, hindi siya kang kasing long lasting ng isang bullish uh, MACD bullish cross on a 4 hour time frame. Okay? So that's rule number one. Okay? Uh, Pakitype nga ng number one kung naunawaan yung rule number one natin. Type number one in TikTok, type number one in Facebook and in YouTube. Okay? That is rule number one. Kapag ikaw ay gumagamit ng higher or rela uh, higher time frame, ikaw ay nagkakaroon ng better signal, no? Better at much reliable signal. Okay. Number two, ang rule number two natin. Your key level support and resistance are better seen on higher time frame. Your key level support and resistance are better seen on higher time frames. Okay. Let me do a quick demo for you, no? Let me do a quick demo for you. So, sinasabi natin palagi sa university ngayon, I cannot discuss everything sa inyo because of course that that's why meron tayong university. Then uh, I, I could I could give you a high level view, pero paghihimayin na natin we'll go on university na no. Tapos here, so I'm, I'm, let me just try to open a a chart. I I will give you a quick demo of what do we mean by What do we mean by key level support and resistance are better seen on higher time frames? Key level support resistance. Siya bing key level support and resistance. Ito yung ito yung tinatawag nating big, no? Big reliable support and resistance. Na kapag binasag yan, okay? Pag binasag, parang ito yung six one eight mo, no? This is your Fibonacci six one eight, no? This is actually better seen. Why is it better seen on higher time frame, no? May mga questions ako na receive coach. Is it okay to to do your fibs on a lower time frame? Pwede. Pwede. Pero, sabi ko nga sa rule number one, go back to rule number one, kapag bigger, bigger ang time frame mo, you get more reliable. Mas long lasting siya. Longer lasting yung effect niya. So let's try to go to your um, BTC. Okay, let's try to go to BTC. Okay. So BTC USDT, just give me a second, okay? All right. Okay, bumaba na pala ng 44,286 to si ano, no? Si si Bitcoin. This can potentially go down further. I siguro I'll, I'll check later on. Okay, kasi baka mag-retrace to ng around 42. Anyways, so if we go to your this is your bigger time frame, no? This is your bigger time frame, okay? All right. So, if you look into our bigger time frame, so this one, number one, this is your resistance and this is your support. Okay, this is your bigger time frame, no? Ngayon, <clears throat> sinasabi natin na if you if you go on your bigger time frame, for example, you do your <clears throat> you do your BB50, go your Bollinger Bands, okay? And then you have your BB50 as your indicator and then 0.2 okay kapag si B, kapag ang uh, ang iyong time frame is a bigger time frame like one day time frame kapag ito ay bumasag ng key level resistance area which is a BB50 line or your 50 days moving average pag ito ay bumasag much longer at long lasting yung effect niya much longer lasting yung effect niya because If you if you notice here from here to here, 
ito ay nag-register ng almost 34%. 34% growth just because may binasag siyang resistance. Ngayon, pag kinuha mo yung confirmatory candle dito, that's still 27%. No, 27%. No, kapag ikaw ay gumagamit ng bigger time frame, mas imagine mo ganito pa lang itsura ng candle, okay? The candle just look like this right now. Nagkaroon ng breakout, so tinatawag natin key resistance area using your BB50. Okay, nagkaroon ng prison break candle at nagkaroon, nag-enter ka ng confirmatory candle. no? Pag-enter mo ng $37,000 USDT, ikaw ay potentially kumita na ng almost 27.14%. Okay, you can potentially earn 27.14%. So a bigger time frame gives you a, a, a longer lasting impact. A longer lasting impact. Okay? So always make sure that you have, you know, your general rule of trading. Okay? As you drill down in the time frames, the charts become more polluted with false moves and noise. No? And rule number two. Your key level support and resistance are better seen on higher time frames. Now, in reverse, in reverse, kung tayo ay maghahanap ng ng ng, ng uh, reverse scenario, ito na for example here naman, bumasag siya ng BB50 pababa, no? Malaki din if it if you would notice sobrang sobrang rumi respeto to ng ng BB50, no? Nakita mo 'yan? Lagi nagba-bounce, no? Pero nung pangatlo, pang-apat hindi niya nakinaya yung bounce, nagkaroon ng break out dito nagretrace a little bit pero uh, nagcorrect ulit bumaba na naman siya nang bumaba so that's 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 what i'm trying to say if it's actually breaking out on a major bb50 line as um, guys this is just one of the many ha meron pa tayong ema9 meron pa tayong fibonacci 618 no pag ito ay bumabasag na no ng 618 pababa o pataas that's a major resistance and support area Malaki, mas massive yung galaw niya. Mas massive. And you need to remember, if it's a bullish market, you need to widen. Kailangan mong palakihin yung risk appetite mo. no? Kasi nga, at the end of the day, napaka-volatile ng cryptocurrency market. May mga makikita ka mga micro swings. For example, itong time frame na to, ito may time frame, eh. yung tsura ng candle na yan, it is only, it is only, uh, a doji candle on August 12 based on this formation. Pero if you go down into a one hour, napaka massive micro, massive uh, swing na siya pababa. It's a swing going down already of your BB50. No? Pero if you think about it, okay, it's actually on a downward slope, but if you think about it, on a bigger time frame or when you zoom out it is still going upwards it's still going upwards so yung tinatawag nating swings on a lower time level or a micro level or a zoom in level are okay pero if you don't zoom out okay for example yan no ang laki nyari, in your perspective napakalaki naman ng downward trend na to no napakalaki no um and then Hindi, hindi ka, you, you don't zoom out. You don't look at the bigger picture. No? Pag tingin mo dito, if you look at the bigger picture, it's still an upward trend. Okay? And if you go to a one-day candle, it's still a dodgy candle on a one-day time frame. No? So that is, that is one of the benefits of looking into a higher time frame because you could definitely see a bigger key level support and resistance. Tulot na yan, ha? rule number two yan. Okay? What is the rule number three, coach? Rule number three is the price may look like it has a room to move, but it has already overextended on a lesser time frame. So for example, for example, if we look into the same example, in the same scenario on a one-day chart, no? If you actually redound into a one hour time frame here on a one hour time frame, 
Okay. Bumasag siya ng around 33,000. Dito, ang tanggalin natin si BB50. Yan. Okay. Let's do this first as one day. Let's do a BB50. Ang binasag niyang key area is the 35,000. Ayun yung binasag niyang resistance. Okay? Tandaan mo yan ha. Let me just do this right now. Okay? So binasag niya yan. Okay. So here, nakita natin na um pag kapag kapag labas niya ng kanya pag pagka breakout niya, alam natin that this can still further go up upwards, no? Pero if you go on a lower time frame, you go on a lower time frame, go to one hour, you will probably you will probably feel, no? Na ay sobrang taas na nito. Overextended na to. So you can potentially think na from here to here that's already almost twenty one percent, twenty one percent. But this is just within one week from July twenty six to August one. From July twenty six to August one, no, it went further downwards, and then it could further even go down upwards on the mic. Meron siyang retracement pagbaba tapos umakyat sa ulit, no. What I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say is, tayo pwede nating isipin na sobrang extended na tong breakout na to. This can already be an overextended breakout, but if you look into a one day time frame, if you look into a one day time frame, okay? If you look into a one day time frame, meron pa siyang move na pwedeng ibigay kasi kaka-breakout lang niya ng 41,000 resistance. Kaka-breakout lang niya ng 41,000 resistance. So true enough, magkaroon ng konting retracement pero tumaas pa siya lalo. No? So sometimes, when we're looking on a lower time frame, na, na, na ma-manage yung optics natin, yung mindset natin, na baka it's an overstretch move already, When in fact, when we zoom out on a bigger candle time frame, mas nakikita natin na meron dito ng key resistance area on a forty-one thousand na binasag, which could mean na pwede pa siyang tumaas once binasag niya. No, which could mean that once it's actually broken already, then potentially it can even go upwards. No, on a one-day time frame. So, meaning rule number three. A price may look like it has a room to move, but if you look on a lower time frame, it's already been overextended. Overextended, okay? And then last rule natin, okay? You may take a great trade in a shorter time frame, but you could miss the bull, okay? You could miss the bus of the bull in a larger time frame. Let me give you an example. Okay. So on a shorter time frame, let's go down to a one-hour time frame. On a shorter time frame, in a shorter time frame, um, assuming this is your candle, okay, that is your candle. Assuming that's your candle, okay. On a shorter time frame, pwede ka nang magkaroon ng worry, kasi ito nagretrace na to ng almost. Nag-retrace ito ng almost 5.44%. No? Itong, meron na siyang tinatawag na retracement of 5.44%. So, pwede ka na mag-worry dyan kasi naka one hour time frame ka. No? You can actually worry already. On a 30 minutes time frame, it's the same, no? Pero much pronounced, much pronounced yung retracement niya. It's, it's pronounced on a downward trend. No? So pwede ka mag-worry dyan kasi nakailang candle pa baba na yan. No? On a 30 minutes candle. So pwede yung ginawa mo, you could actually have tried to cut loss already at 5.6%. But on a bigger time frame, on a bigger time frame, this is actually on August 8. No? August 8, if you look into a bigger time frame of one day, your August 8, Here, your 
Your August 8 Your August 8 is still a green candle. Kita mo yan? Your August 8 is still a green candle. So you are missing the 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 bigger wave, the bigger trend. You're missing the bigger trend, okay? Just because just because you went on a 1 hour candle. Okay? Because you are scared of the 1 hour candle, you totally missed the bigger wave going upwards. No? The bigger wave is supposed to be going even upwards here. So yes, it actually gave you a 5% regression on that day, pero on a bigger time frame, on a bigger time frame, it's still a green candle. It even went higher. So what does it mean? What does it mean? You can take a great profit on a short time frame, but you can miss. You may, no, I'm saying may, miss the bus of the bigger bull in a larger time frame. Okay? So, coach, what, what do we need to do now? What do you suggest that we do? What do you suggest that we do at this point? What do you think that we need to do para alam namin ang gagawin namin? So enter our rule of indicators. So kopyahin mo yan. Kuyang mo na screenshot sa YouTube. Okay? Pag wala ka pa niyan, nilagay ko yan sa... Nilagay ko po ito sa... Let me just try to present. Yan, nilagay ko yan sa ano? Sa Facebook group natin. Okay? So, this is actually uh, a version that I published way back Ju June, no? So, mabilis na discussion tayo. So, first and foremost, you need to make sure that kailangan mong nag-zoom out, no? On a bigger time frame so you don't miss the bigger swings, no? Um, there are different types of traders kasi. Okay? Huwag mong isipin na, ah, Ba't ngayon ko lang nalaman to? Bakit kailangan palang tumingin sa bigger time frame? Huwag mo isipin na mali ka. Iba, iba kasi tayo ng risk appetite. No? May mga tao kasi na they're just okay on a smaller profit. A smaller time frame means smaller profit. A bigger time frame means bigger profits. Okay? A smaller time frame can also mean smaller losses. A bigger time frame can also mean bigger losses. Okay? So, so when we're doing scalping, ang time frame mo dapat, if you're a scalper, ibig sabihin, gusto mong kumita within minutes. Within minutes, no? So, kailangan gumagamit ka lang ng 1 minute, 3 minutes, and 5 minutes maximum. You can actually use parabolic scalping, our Feast Miranda Minor uh, CCI or our Halmachi, and then Channel Breakout Place, no? You can actually do that. Now, Pinaka most recent na inad natin dyan, Ema 9. Ema 9 and Hai Kinashi, buhay ka na. No? Ema 9, Hai Kinashi, and MACD, buhay ka na doon. No? Ito yung execution strategy. Pwede kang gumamit ng RSI 14 and minimum of RSI 10. Okay? Kapag gumamit ka ng parabolic scalping, gagamit ka ng RSI 14 okay? or RSI 10. Pinaka minimum. Okay? Dapat yung RSI mo reading niya is above 72. Meron ako video on that. Okay, meron na kayong, alam nyo na yung rule number 2 natin sa Alma, Emma, uh, uh, CCI, Scalping Strategy, the Feast Model, alam nyo na yan. And of course, yung Channel Breakout Play, alam nyo na rin to, no? So this is a scalping strategy. Nilagyan ko ng red lahat ng strategy, dapat 2 to 3 indicators will agree. Don't just enter if it's only one indicator, okay? Sa iyong cellphone, you could use Emma 9, Emma 20. The same thing, if Emma 9 nag-cross over pataas kay Emma 20, then MACD bullish cross, pasok ka. Exit ka dyan kapag ito ay nagkaroon na ng MACD bearish cross, exit on your cell phone trade. Okay? 15 minutes yun ha. Tapos, pag day trading ka, pag day trading, you wanted to earn within the day. No? 
So, dapat ang time frame mo, 15 minutes to 4 hours, no? 15 minutes to 4 hours. You can use the MACD, uh, the Parabolic BB50, no? But use Haikenashi, no? And of course, your RSI30, and then your channel breakout play. Okay? For swing trading, you want it to be able to earn within days, no? Within days, two days, three days, four days. And then you use your four hours or one day time frame. You could actually use your AOTS trade, yung EMA 20, EMA 50 natin, yung BB50 trade, and then your major resistance and support place. Ilagay mo na rin dyan si Fibonacci extension breakouts, your 618 extension breakouts, your Fib retracement breakouts in all of this. No? Ang pinakadulo yung position trading. Gusto mong kumita in weeks, no? In weeks. One week, two weeks. You'll just position. Then you use your BB50, your MACD on a one day or a one week time frame. No? And then, of course, you use your major resistance and support phase. Alright? So, na, this one I actually have uploaded sa ating Facebook group file section. Pwede mo manapin yun dyan. You can actually use it there. Okay? So, let me just do a quick demo. Quick demo. No? What do I mean by that? No? Okay? So, pag tayo gumamit ng sample natin is, let's go a scalping 1 to 3 minutes, no? Ito yung forma dapat, no? Let's go to your your card, your, let's go to your chart first. Ito yung chart mo. Ang forma mo ganito, no? Let me do a BTC USDT. Let's go down into, let's go up to 1 hour. Pinalat na po natin ng ating major. Meron na tayong resistance. Meron tayong uh, resistance dito. Meron tayong tinatawag na... Meron tayong resistance, may resistance dyan, may support dito. We have our breakout here, major breakout yan, no? So, meron tayong breakout and we could now go, uh, for the purposes of demo, let's say meron na tayong retracement dito. Okay, yan. Meron na tayong retracement. Tapos, alam na rin natin kung saan natin ilalagay yung 618s natin. Okay, for the purposes of this demo, yan. Okay, yan. Alam na natin yan. Okay. So, one hour, meron na tayo yan. Tapos, we go and let's say we do first our retracement further. Kasi gusto natin malaman hanggang saan ito bababa. So, pwede pang umabot ng 37,000. 37,000 yung kanyang strong retracement level. No? Which is also, which is also yung binagsakan nito before siya umakyat pataas. No? Alright. Okay. So, meron ka na, for example, major resistance and major support. Saka ka na bababa sa lower time frame. And since we're looking at BTC, we don't need to look for BTC because nasa BTC na tayo. You only look at the other altcoins. Gagawa ka ng four charts. If you're scalping, gagawa ka ng four charts. Let's go to a multi-chart. Ayan, gawa ka ng 4 charts. Na meron ka ng bigger chart kanina. Nakita mo na yung, mga, nakita mo na yung bigger time frame. Nakita mo na yung major resistance. Gawa ka ngayon ng multi-chart pag nagsascalp ka. No? Dapat dyan, apat. Click mo yung apat na yan. Okay? Pag kinilik mo yung apat, yung isa dyan dapat BTC. All the rest could be altcoins. All the rest could be altcoins. If, if you are scalping, ha? if you're scalping, no? So, it could be everyone is an altcoin, pero dapat meron kang BTC reference. Level. So let's try to put BTC here. BTC yan. Let's do BTC USDT yan. Okay. Let's, let's try to do uh, 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 three minutes. Okay. Let's remove the volume. And then let's try to put an indicator. Sabi natin we need to do an EMA. Sabayan nyo ako guys. Let's do an ALMA. And let's do a CCI. Your EMA9, okay, your your ALMA should be 20.8 and 8. Okay. So, ang rule natin, dapat ito ay bumabasag ng CCI negative 100 pataas. And of course, your EMA, your EMA actually is babasag ng, uh, let me just adjust the style. Let me make it red and a bit. Uh, thicker, tapos si Alma. Tapat, let me try to make it purple. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. So ang rule natin dapat siya ay babasag pataas, no? Tapos dapat tumuloy-tuloy pataas si CCI. Ayun, sabi natin, tinuro din natin na pag para mas maganda yung effect ng iyong uh, ang maganda ang epekto, no? Maganda ang epekto ng iyong scalping, dapat meron ka tinatawag na feast. Tinatawag kang feast model, no? Kung saan you're actually already plotting, plotting your fib lines, no? Your Fibonacci lines. So you, you cannot do it here because nasa smaller time frame ka, no? Gagawa ka ng another chart para makita mo kung ano yung price price niya, no? So let's try to do uh let's try to do BTC tapos uh, kung meron kang apat na time frame dito, kukuha ka pa ng isang malaking time frame kung saan mo kung saan mo ilalagay yung bigger uh, time frame ng ng BTC. Kailangan mo siyang makita, 'di ba? Yung ginawa natin kanina, no? Meron ka na noon Make sure when you're scalping na meron ka ng ganong um, bigger time frame, pinalano mo na si Fibonacci mo, dapat nasa taas ka ng 0.618 when you're scalping para mas maganda yung kitaan, no? Para mas sakto, mas sakto yung kitaan mo, no? Ayun, kung hindi ka talaga uh, ay mong gumawa noon, dapat marunong ka tumingin ng patterns. You need to know how to see patterns. What do I mean by that, no? What do I mean? So let's let's try to go on a 1 hour here. What do I mean by patterns? Let's go on one hour here. Okay, nag-read tayo. Patterns yan. Okay. So, ibig sabihin ng patterns, kailangan meron ka nakikitang bigger time frame patterns. no? So, it's always better to create a one hour or a one day candle on a bigger, on a bigger chart. Ha? So, here, for example, you have this chart. Bagal lang, bagal lang minsan si Investa, no? Pero okay naman yan si Investa. Okay. Hintay natin mag-read. Okay. Yan. So assuming meron ka ng one day dyan, no? Dapat dito mo siya ginagawa para mas makita mo talaga pag baguhan ka pa lang, no? You need to see it here. Okay, you need to see it here. Yan. So when you see it here already, mas makikita mo diyan yung yung mga yung iyong tinatawag na uh, no retracement level, yan meron ka ng ganyan, no? Makakalimutan one bigger time frame muna. Okay? Tapos lagyan mo dito ng tinatawag na mga um, breakouts or breakdowns, yan. Example this one, sorry. For example, let's do a channel breakout here. Let me just try to do a channel um RL channel. Okay. And yeah, we have a bigger channel there, for example. So you will do everything here on a bigger time frame para makita mo yung mga major resistance, no? Tapos, meron ka pa tinatawag na um, resistance area dito. Okay, meron ka na dyan. Okay, so nakikita mo lahat dyan. No? Sa one, sa one day. No? Kung meron nagawa ka ng ganyan, baba ka na dun sa lower time frame. Okay, maghanap ka rin dito ng mga trends. Ayan, meron ka dito ng trends yan. Ayan. For example, meron ka ng potential uh, Bounce dito, naka 1 hour tayo ha. Naka 1 hour candle ka dito, yan, may bounce siya dyan. So potentially, pwede rin mag-bounce ito dito. But, you need to remember, since we are actually charting a 1, uh, we, we wanted to do scalping, maghahanap ka pa ng mga smaller, smaller trend lines. Yan, for example, ganito. Yan. Yan, no? yan. So when you look into this particular chart, makikita mo na meron na siyang binasag na pababang formation ng candle. No? So kung ikaw ay magsescalping, ito ang ayaw mong i-scalp. You don't want to scalp the breakdown. No? On a 1 hour time frame, you don't want to scalp a breakdown. Ang gusto mong i-scalp itong mga bounce play na to. Ito yung mga gusto mong i-scalp. The same 
on the same banana, ayaw mong i-scalp itong mga ganitong breakdowns. Yan. You don't want to scalp that. Bakit? Kasi, kahit anong gawin mo, magsascalp ka dyan, it could further even go downwards. No? So, meron siya tinatawag na bounce 1. Okay, bounce 2. Potential bounce dito. I, you don't, even if you see a halmachi formation here, because this is a bigger pattern, hindi ka magsascalp dyan. You will not scalp here. So, now, if we go into the current time frame, let's go here. Okay? This is your time frame. The, the long and short answer is, you need to wait. Wag ka munang mag-scalp until you see a better pattern on a bigger time frame. Until you see a better pattern on a bigger time frame, that is when you scalp. I'll, I'll give you an example. For example, for example, yan. For example, ganyan, no? So, may bounce 1, bounce number 2, bounce number 3. For example, hindi mo pa alam na merong, you don't know na merong magkakaroon ng potential bounce. Ayun pa lang yung candle niya. Ayun pa lang. So, you further went onwards, at alam mo nang merong support sa ilalim na mag-aabang dyan, you know that this can potentially bounce. True enough, nag-bounce nga doon. True enough, nag-bounce nga doon. So, nung nagkaroon, nung nagkaroon ng CCI, 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 EMA, EMA confirmation, CCI confirmation, it's actually a bounce. It actually gave you almost a price range of almost 8.49%. It gave you an 8.49% because it is a scalping on a bounce. Meron ka ng previous support dito. You have a previous support here. Okay? It can potentially on a one hour. Now, you don't want to do scalping on a one hour time frame. You want it to go on a lower time frame. So, this is actually, tandaan lang natin yung oras. No? Let's make it a time zone, Singapore. This is July 31, alas 3, no? Uh, Nag-crossover ng July 30, 2100, no? 21, tas, nagkaroon ng uh, bounce on a 300 hours July 31. So, let's try to find the what the, the 5 minutes. I'll go to 5 minutes, yan. 5 minutes, yan. Try natin. Medyo mahaba-habang hanapan yun. For example, backtest lang tayo. August 31 daw. Ah, July 31. Okay ito. Okay. So, dahil nakita mo sa bigger time frame na ito ay may bounce already, no? Ayan. Ayan. So, nung pumasok ka, Linawin lang natin ito sandali. Ang galing ko lang itong play na ito. Ayan. Within this range, within this range, okay, uh, may pag-sideways siya, no? Ayan, pag-sideways. So, hindi mo pa makita, hindi talaga makita kung ito ay nag-cross over na. Nag-cross over na. Pero, from here, dito pa lang, dito pa lang, makita mo talaga nag-cross over na siya. Tapos may negative, may, may negative CCA 100 dito. No? So, sabi natin, it, it's potentially bouncing on a bigger time frame on a per minute, on a per minute basis, on a per minute basis, for example, you entered on this particular candle, okay? Nag-negative 100 CCI, you enter there. From here, on this particular candle, na cross over, going sa taas, no? Ayan. So, meron siyang cross over na negative 100 here, right? 
So if you if you see on the bigger time frame na ito ay mag ito ay nagbounce mag scalp ka ng walang tigil diyan it's going to just go even upwards no yung buong range na yan pag in scalp mo yan okay dahil nakakita ka ng magandang time, magandang formation on a bigger time frame ito ay nagbounce lang dito sa may support line na to ito this one Nag-bounce ito sa may support line na yan. This one. Okay? It can further even go higher. Pero, you cannot see this. Hindi mo makikita yung bounce na yan on a 5-minute candle. Kasi napaka-micro na niya. Kailangan mo na siyang hanapin on a bigger time frame. So, kung makakita ka ng halmachi at magsascalp ka dyan dahil meron siyang halmachi formation at ito ay nag-bounce na nga, eventually, hindi ka matatalo sa scalping na yan. You could never lose on that. Kasi alam mo nga, on rule natin, alam mo in our rule, okay, the longer the time frame, the more reliable the signals are given. Okay, number two, key level support and resistance are better seen on a higher time frame. So nakita mo sa higher time frame sa 1 hour na meron kang key level support area dito na sasaluhin niya. So kampante ka na yung bounce na yun, hindi yan bababa pababa. Kasi nagbounce na nga sa on a bigger time frame. Number three. Price may look like it has a room to move but it has already been overextended. Or balik tarin natin. Price may look like it has no room to move but it has been underextended pa. Ibig sabihin, nagsisimula pa lang. Okay, next. Pwede ka makakuha ng great trade on a shorter time frame, but you miss the bigger bus on a larger time frame. So here, because tumingin ka sa one hour, forget about the altcoins muna. Tumingin ka, sa, tumingin ka dito sa short, sa bigger time frame, mas nasakyan mo yung 7% upward trend ng 5 ng minute candle mas nasakyan mo siya. No? So, I think it's important, ganun ka-importante, ganun ka-importante yung tinatawag nating time frames, no? Kasi, kasi it can tell you that it's a potential bounce. It can tell you it is going to be a potential bounce because, no? It is a key level support area on a bigger time frame. No? That is just for scalping, ha? Huh? Hindi pa ako umaakit sa day trading. Hindi pa ako umaakit. So, bilang isang trader, sasabihin ko sa'yo na dapat hindi ka lang nagsistick sa one time frame. I know you're a scalper. Yes, you're a scalper. Pero may mga micro swings ka na akala mo it's already a breakdown Pero it's only a bounce. It's a potential bounce on a bigger time frame. It is just a potential bounce on a bigger time frame. Okay? So, can you guys type number one? Can you please type number one kung naunawaan niyo yung sample na yun? Kasi baka abutin ako ng alas 12 dito pag diniscuss ko lahat ng sample. <laughs> Can you please type number one in TikTok or in um, or in uh, Facebook or in YouTube kung naunawaan po? Okay. Ay, may, may mga tao tayo sa TikTok. Thank you sa mga hearts ninyo. Ha? Thank you. Okay. Mas na, kailangan nyo kasing malaman ano ang rule of time frames, no? Kailangan talaga ang alam mo sa time frames. You need, para yung mga micro swings, hindi ka natatakot. You're not scared. It's okay to retrace, no? And at the same time, at the same time, you cannot miss the bigger bus. Don't miss the bigger bus. Okay? Don't miss the bigger bus. Because you are aware of how to use the bigger time frames. Okay? So this is, sana, sana may natutunan ka sa schedule natin. Medyo bitin, tama, oo. Gusto mo lang marinig si Coach magkwento. Diba? <laughs> Gusto mo ka marinig kwentuhan ka o turuan ka magdamag. Pwede naman, pero syempre, uh, you know, uh, kukonti-konti in that. Marami pa naman tayong technic technical charting Thursday. no? We still have a lot of technical charting Thursday schedules. Pero gusto ko nang unahin to kasi 
marami po sa inyo ang nagtatanong pa din, marami po sa inyo mga bago sa channel natin, coach, ano ba yung kailangan gamitin? Ano, ano ba yung kailangan time frames? Ano ba dapat yung execution? Ano ba dapat yung kailangan gawin? Ano, before we all answer that, kailangan nating malaman, are you a day trader? Are you a scalper? Are you a swing trader? Are you a position trader? Yung muna yung mga tanong natin. Before kita turuan ng kung ano-anong mga indicators. Okay? Kailangan alam mo yan kasi yan ang gateway mo para ma-multiply mo yung profits mo. That is your gateway. No? Kasi if you don't understand the time frames, the rule of the time frames, mabilis kang malilito. Mabilis kang magre-react. Mabilis kang mag-overreact on a micro swing. Yung pala micro swing lang, di pala yun macro swing ngayon. Pag alam mo din yung rule of time frames, pag kinuha mo, nakita mo na, okay, nagkakaroon na siya ng uh, death cross on a bigger time frame, doon ka na mahaba-habang death cross yun. Doon ka na magsusort. O, nakakita ka ng bull cross, bullish cross, or golden cross on a one-day chart. Eh, doon ka na sumakay, mag-iwan ka na ng pera kasi mahaba-haba yan. Mahaba-haba yan. ba? Diba? So, that is the importance of, that is the importance of your time frames. Okay? So guys, I know it's 11.04. Let me just do a quick greeting. No greetings po sa mga nasa TikTok. Kay uh, uh, Rian, hello, hello sa'yo. Kay uh, uh, regular viewer natin ito si G091. Regular viewer sa TikTok yan. Thank you. Uh, thank you din kay It, uh, Ito Man 95. Ito Man 95, thank you. Uh, nagpadala ng coffee si Rian salamat sa coffee na yan <laughs> thank you sa coffee maraming sa pwede pala magpadala ng coffee sa TikTok no okay greeting sa iyo sa mga nagtype ng number one thank you thank you sa mga nagbigay ng heart maraming salamat okay and of course uh, salamat din kay Mirna Tan uh, sa club lang thank you Kiel thank you normal po bang uminit ang ulo pag nahihit ang stop loss normal yan babaliktad pa yun san mo no babaliktad pa yan normal yan normal yan no So, Mary Faith, thank you po, Coach. O, salamat din po. No, thank you. Uh, can can Bitcoin further go down? Sige, let me just quick quickly do a charting. No? So, uh, based sa aking uh, charting kanina, let me just do a one day real quick. Uh, I'm not overly concerned kasi mukhang indecisive pa tong candle natin sa August 12, eh, no? Uh, on a day chart, it's still indecisive. And you need to remember, yung mga, uh, nung ito ay nag-break out, okay, teka lang ha, nung ito ay nag-break out, uh, nagkaroon ng small correction dito. Nagkaroon ng small correction. Nag-retrace din naman siya, eh, no? Nag-retrace. Okay. Nag-retrace. Obviously, it's a common, uh, it's a common uh, resistance area. Kaya nag-correct bumaba, no? Nung bumaba yan, umabot ng almost um, price range. Umabot ng almost 11% yung retracement. Teka lang ha. Ayan, umabot almost ng 12% yung retracement pababa. No? Pababa yan. Okay? So, okay? So, ang gagawin natin, we can try to get the extensions from here. A simple retracement, uh, retracement yan. Okay? Para makita natin kung saan sa pwedeng mag-correct. We can actually see some chance of heading mag-correct. Okay? We can do that now. Coach, bakit ka gumagawa ng retracement saan? Bakit hindi sa iba? Kasi for example, for example, no? Ayan, turuan kita ha. For example, ito yung itsura ng candle mo. Okay, yan ang itsura ng candle mo. Okay? Alright. So, meron na siyang ginawang, meron na siyang ginawang uh, multiple direction dito. No, you have your bigger uptrend. Sorry. You have your bigger uptrend. Okay. Teka lang, hindi tumutuloy yung ano ko. Wait lang. Okay. You have a bigger uptrend here. Okay. Meron ka na tinatawag na retracement going downwards. Pero, nag-bounce na yung upward trend mo. Ganyan na siya. Okay, ganyan na yung itsura niya, di ba? So, what, what does that mean? Meron ka nang tinawag na breakout resistance area dito. So anong gagawin mo diyan pag ganyan na yung forma mo, no? Kasi unang-una, ang ang ginawa mo dito, gumawa ka ng fib resistance from here to there. 
Yan. Kumuha ka ng fib retracement. Sabi mo, you need to know until when this can further go down. Diba? At b- based on the rule of retracement sa 618 yan, this can further go down kapag bumasag na ng 34,000 pababa. Based on the 618. Eh, hindi sa tumuloy. Siya tumuloy. So, ito ay nag-retrace lang sa 382. Nag-retrace lang sa 382 dito. Diba? Nag-retrace sa dyan yan. No? Yan. So, what will you do? What will you do on that particular area? You have two options. You have two options. You can actually do an extension. You can do an extension or you do a retracement. Kasi the retracement has its own extension as well. No? So, ang gusto mong malaman ngayon, what do you want to measure now, is hindi na, hindi mo na, you don't want to measure this now. It, this one, no? You don't want to measure this now. Kasi wala na tong purpose eh. Wala na tong purpose. Umakit na to pataas. It's actually already going upward. So, ang kailangan mong i-measure, hindi na, hindi na ito. You don't need, wala ka nang pakialam dito. Ito na yung gusto mong i-measure ngayon. Where can this baby go further up? Okay. So, dahil siya ay nag-retrace na, retrace na, what you wanted to do now, pwede ka, you have, you have multiple options. Okay, you could actually do this, you could actually do one, you have do your ex, you have you can do your imagine mo ito pa lang yung candle mo ha. Okay? You could actually do your extensions here. You can actually do your extensions, you have your one, you have your two, you have your three. You could do that as an extension. Oh, no? you can actually do that. Okay? So here, uh, another another potential extension na pwedeng mong gamitin is you actually get the retracement. Ito is one, no? Let me just try to do a retracement here from here to the lowest swing to this one. No, start ka here. Ito yung pinakamataas mo. It will give you a 618 sa taas. Yan. It will give you that. Okay? So, so ang kailangan mo gawin dito is kunin mo din yung 618 na yun. Yan. Tapos, ang gusto mong malaman ngayon, hanggang saan ito bubuga pa baba. Okay, rule of candles natin, no? Hindi pa to prison break. This is still a prison candle on a one day. So, hindi pa tayo confirm kung magkocorrect talaga yan. No? Number one yan. Kasi baka dodgy pa din to, baka mag, mag sideways lang yan, no? Number two, kunin natin yung 618 in between. Here. Alright? So, your 618 in between, this one, hindi siya nag-correct, nag-retrace dito. So, potentially, this one, sabi ko nga kanina, baka mag-42,000 yan eh. No? Kapag bumasag pa to pababa, no? This can potentially, sasaluhin to ng 42,000. No, ang 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 bista ko dito 42,000 bullish pa din yan na. Kasi nasa breakout line pa din yan, no. You know, you need to remember ang mga upward swings may mga retracement na ganito ha. May mga retracement na ganyan yan. Okay? So, huwag kayong matatakot kung ito ay bababa because may sasalo diyan na potential support line. Isa sa diyan. Okay? So potentially pag bumaba pa yan, okay, because of price action, okay? Walang walang kinalaman si news kasi maganda naman ang news ni Bitcoin bukod dun sa nahack na almost malaki. Malaki yung nahack ng poly hack na yan, yung poly issue na yan. Bukod pa doon wala namang iba eh, no? And of course, yung inaantay natin na Friday na law na nang pumasa na sa Senate infrastructure bill, no? So if it if it goes down, let's say hindi na naging doji to, it can further go down. It can retrace up to 42,560. Pag bumaba yan diyan nag-bounce, saka mag-abang. Abang ka ng new order diyan kung ikaw ay day trader. No? Kung mag-bounce, gawa ka ng order dito sa um for, uh, mag OCO order ka 42,560 na bounce tapos gawa ka ng breakout order dito na above 46,753. Dalawang order gawin mo, whichever comes first. Okay? That is the power of your extensions. Now, now let me 
Let me give you another example. I know it's 11, 12 na. Overtime na tayo. Sorry guys, nag-overtime si Coach ha. Dami kong gustong itopic ng Thursday, no? Tanggalin ko muna to, no? For example, imagine niyo, imagine niyo gumawa ako ng retracement dito, yan. yan. Nakuha ko yung extension doon, di ba? Okay. You need to remember, ginawa ko din siya dito noon. Di ba? At because of this retracement, na-figure out natin na ito pala yung bubong ng 2.618. Ito pala yung bubong ng 2.618. Kaya pala, kaya pala ito ay nag-retrace already, nag-correct dito. Yan pala yung bubong niya. Yan pala yung importance ng 618. No? Yan pala yung importance nun. So, pwede, pag gumawa ka ng, extend, ng retracement dito, pwede rin niyang galangin to. Yung 618 dito, pwede niya rin galangin yan. No? Ayan, no? So, kaya siya nagko-correct dun sa 1.618 na yun kasi yun na yung tuktok niya. So, it can further go down here. It can further go down here. Ngayon, ito, imagine mo, ah. Imagine mo, ang panahon natin is February of 2021. Gumawa ka lang ng ganyan. Gumawa ka lang ng ganitong extension kasi you want to measure how long can this go further upwards. Oh, malay mo ba na na-predict na pala niya na ito ay magre-retrace dun sa 2.618? Ay, ano? Dun. Nag-correct dun sa taas. Bumagsak na. Daran. ba diba? So, merong value itong ginagawa natin dito. May value yan. Kasi, yung 618 ng retracement na to, pwede niyang gawin bubong. Tulad niya, nag-retrace na nga dito, nag-gumaba na. Pwede niyang gawing bubong niya, tapos tutungtong ulit siya ng 618. Tutungtong ulit ng 618 yan. Pwede niyang gawin, pwede niyang gawin ganito, tutungtong, mag-retrace, 618 bababa dito, 618 line. Okay? Tapos aangat ulit, babasag ulit doon ng pangalawang 2618. Okay? Tapos magre-retrace ulit ng another 618. As potentially umakit na naman ng another 3.618 na. No? Pwedeng ganyan ang ugali niya. Pwedeng ganyan. Kasi yun ang ginawa niya dito eh. Nauntog na doon. Di ba? So pwedeng ganoon ang gawin niya. Okay? So, I hope natutunan ka ng video natin today. I hope that this is actually able to uh, help you try to potentially predict the market. But of course, of course, you need to remember pag bumasag pa baba ng 618, alam mo na. Alam mo na. Okay? Alam mo na yun. Okay, guys, it's 11.16. No? Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Um, I know it's overtime already. Pasensya na kayo. Ha? But uh, I just really want to make sure matuto kayo, no? Matuto kayo at uh, you guys are able to learn and you guys are able to understand, no? Guys, relax ka lang. Relax ka lang. The market would not leave you. Huwag kang ma-pressure. Uh, alam ko nakaka-pressure ang stock market or cryptocurrency market. Nakaka-pressure yan. That's true. No, but um, as long as you have a plan, as long as you understand, no? You understand the trades and you have your position size, you have your, you know, you have your cut losses, you are able to understand the bigger picture nako hindi ka mawawala sa cryptocurrency relax ka lang huwag kang mapapressure no kailangan mo na mag-relax uh, we're just here naman to guide you okay and um uh, don't put too much pressure to yourself no kailangan mo makuha yung breakthrough mo in trading by waiting for you to uh, waiting for your right bus to arrive no may ko nang ginagamit yung story ni the right bus to arrive it will arrive relax ka lang be very very uh, patient no Because the market will just be there. Wag kang masadong ma pressure sa sarili mo because your time your time will come. Okay. All right. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Thank you again. Nag nag all time high na tayo. Nag for four hundred plus na tayo sa sa live natin. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Of course, sa TikTok. Maraming salamat din sa inyo. No, it's already nag all time high na tayo sa TikTok. Almost twenty viewers. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Of course, if you just tuned in. 
if you just tune in, you actually have a chance to win 500 pesos per day. Just make sure you just comment in our videos. No? Hashtag thank you Miranda Minor and hashtag I believe in Bing bon. You have a chance to win 500 pesos. One winner per day will be chosen. One winner per day will be chosen. Malay mo ikaw na yan. Pang wala ka pang pang trade, gamitin mo yung 500 pesos na yan. Of course, kung wala ka namang pang tetrade no? wala kang gamit na pang trade, then you need to join our 25K, Road to 25K giveaway. We're giving away one Samsung tablet A7 Lite brand new. Nako, kunin mo na yan. O para sa iyo yan. No? O kunyari, hindi man ikaw, di yung buong angkan mo pag uh, subscribe mo sa atin para marami kayong chances of winning. No, you lang naman. You just need to subscribe to our channel. You have a chance to win any of these prizes. Okay guys, maraming salamat sa'yo ha. At uh, ingat ngayong gabi and thank you guys. And tomorrow, see you in our Friday uh, Real Talk with Coach Miranda Minor. With that said guys, maraming maraming salamat. And I love you 3,000. Maraming maraming salamat. Good night.